Hi, my name is Will Nunziata, New York City-based director and creator of theater, television, and film, and also a proud Phoenix Global Artist Ambassador. Today, I am thrilled to be speaking with the multimedia artist, Renaissance man, Villa Dom. For more on Villa Dom, you can read more about him right below this video, but in the meantime, take a sneak peek at the incredible talent of Villa Dom. I've been baby powder fresh since a little nizzle. Was raised to be royal, you know, sucker nigga. Raised if you pull that heat, you better bang with them. And that go for anybody, cause anybody, your body. If you sitting on the court, they gon' play with you. That's why I come in the arena, change the game. Bang from the lane, switch lanes in another state. Do a show, push merch the same day. They like this, how we get paid. Fuck what they say, 24 7 every day. Briefcase, duffel bag, 4.5. I'm just glad to be alive. Master gas, pull from the stash. Build a coat, six months, count more dough. Like, you ain't know I was surgical with it. Alphabets, lethal like the government. Needle, call your people, cousin. Don't believe you, and neither do I. That's why I am my own man. Count shows, build tours, get dough. Bill Coles, man, that's all that I know. Get dope. Well, hello, Villa Dom. How are you? Salute, salute. Thanks for having me, Will. Uh, thank you so much for joining me. My friend, you are a Renaissance man, multimedia artist, but you are a multimedia, God-given talent. And I want to just begin, Villa Dom. Where did you grow up and when did you realize that you had a love and a talent for the arts? Oh, this, this is the part I love. Oh. Well, um, salute to Brooklyn. I'm um, born and raised in Brooklyn, New Me York. Me too, baby. Whereabouts? Oh, Brownsville, East New York. That's, that's I what I love proud. it. Bay Ridge. So another B, but not the same. But it's Brooklyn, baby. That's yeah. That's that's always Brooklyn love. Sorry, it, back to you. I can't make this about me. Keep going. Nah, but it's a Brooklyn thing, though. But um, in terms of what made me start this, I, I wanna wanna say my inspirations, but I'm waiting for my mom to tell me the story where she kind of had an affair with a microphone because I, I think that's when I, I I was just born. I was just born with music in me to do this. And um, I remember hearing Curtis Blow when I was a baby and Big Daddy Kane became one of my inspirations to really do and set out to be an MC, not a rapper, an MC. Wow, that's incredible. And then how did that segue into you exploring different parts of yourself as an artist? Um, well, early, again, because of my passion for the music, um, early, I got the opportunity at 15 to get into a management contract. But it was a little trick to this. The management company was in Canada. So old dogs 15, my mother loved to do your music thing, but she didn't sign off. So long story short, I ran away and did the demo in Canada at 15. And that's what kind of showed me the, it could happen, business side. This is why I respect brothers like Master P, Russell Simmons, Jay-Z, uh, Nas, all of these uh, guys that not just have their great talent, but if you really about this business, you can apply the business part to it and have a beautiful career. Well, Villa, I'm looking at behind you and you're, you're a walking business, you're a walking brand. And I love the respect that you have for that brand. So much so that in addition to your music, you wrote a memoir. If you don't mind going into it a little bit. Oh man, that's uh, one of the personal goals and relics of, of Little Villa Publishing. In respect to that management deal, I learned the publishing side and I was getting robbed like everybody else do. So at 16, I started Little Villa Publishing with the inspirations that one day when I do have my children, I have legacy to tangibly pass to them. This is theirs. And it started with the music. So I published my own music. And I said, one day, you know what? I'm gonna I'm a, I'm a publish a memoir. And maybe I'm not gonna do it about rap. I'm gonna do it about something I feel needs a bigger conversation, which is fatherhood. What I love about you, Villa Dom, is that you're a storyteller. You're a storyteller that you traverse every medium, but that you unapologetically lend your truth and your light, whether it's a song, a book, your brand, your legacy for your family. 
And I think about all those little villa doms out there on the soups of Brooklyn right now, <laughs> listening to your music, <laughs> listening to your music, reading your memoir and looking at you and saying, if he can, I can too. It's you are an inspiration, my friend. And I want to know at such a young age, when did and why did you, you think, realize the power of legacy? Uh, I'm, I'm fortunate to be blessed with uh, having conversations with my great granddad and seeing what it was, not just as a black man, as a man, creating things where your family is safe. Your family could come in your house or their gate and you're not only a pillar to your family, but to your community. In order to really do that, you have to have resources. So, um, you know, again, education was important to me. I'm a, a shout out to Full Sail University. I'm a graduate of Full Sail University. So it's not just getting those accolades, accolades but hands on. Get in the world and build something. Do what what your passion is. And the only way you can really explore that is by doing. And I like to say that's the testament to my goals and my life thus far. Your passion and enthusiasm and artistry is infectious, my friend. And you are already providing a safe space through your music, through your memoir, through the art and the stories that you put out there. I am sure that you have heard from fans before in terms of them relating to you. Are there any stories in particular that stand out? <laughs> um, you know, as hip hop, I'm sure uh, I, I did my, my homework on you too. I know you love hip hop too. So, you you know, in hip hop, authenticity means a lot. Being um organic, that's something that some budgets can't buy. You know what I mean? And um, I like to say, that's what hip hop has done for me. It has shown me how to be an individual and stay cultivated in the art of creating and contributing. And, and that's all I aspire to do. Wow, say that again about authenticity and budget. You got to trademark that, my friend. <laughs> we we can... might trademark that because that's fresh out of, that's fresh out you... of everything. We speak a very similar language, but I think the language that we also speak is the power of legacy. Mm. And I know that for all of the theater pieces and films and television pieces that I direct and create, I'm also looking at it as a representation of a baton of the tools that have been given to me by my grandparents, by my parents, by my heritage, and by other wills out there. And I can't stop thinking when I've been researching you, Villa Dom. Again, I, with no do, I'm not, without being you know disrespectful, the little Villa Doms out there who have a dream, who might be misfits, who might not fit the grain, but they want to go and do their own path and create a path where it wasn't. And that's mm -hmm. what you've done, my friend. I'm I'm hum humbled and honored by that. I thank you. I appreciate that. You've moved. And I, I just want my art to reflect anything I do. Uh, those little villas, those, uh, anybody, even my children, I aspire them to be their greatest. I challenge anyone, be your greatest you. That's the best thing to do in my you know what you're doing though, my friend? There's so many people out there that talk. You're doing the thing. And you have action as backup, as inspiration for your kids and those other kids out there. There are very few people that walk the walk, my friend, and you do it on a golden road that you've created brick by brick with your great grandparents, your grandparents, your parents and your kids and looking forward. I mean, I can go on and on. I, spiritually, I feel very connected to you and your story. And um, I'm so grateful to have met you and um, I'm very moved by you, as you can tell. I'm holding back a little bit. My, my, my man, I, uh, again, um, I just thank you, appreciate it, because again, it's my job to be at my frequency, and you at yours, and that, that, and I appreciate you for the outlet. God bless you. God bless you, really. And um, I look forward to continuing following you. And I just want to let the audience know that for more in Villa Dom, you can read more about him right below this video. Villa Dom, God bless you for all that you do, for all that you put out into the world, in the vibration that you put out there unapologetically, a positive one filled with light and hope. Thank you, my friend. Salute. Thank you. Thank you, Will. In the age, artists and bands struggle to make a living. 
In fact, only a small number of artists can live off their craft. For the 98% of artists that don't have the luxury of being signed to a label, it's tough. But artists deserve to live off their art. Wherever you are around the world, appreciation of music does not change. Phoenix brings bands and their fans together, whilst allowing bands to properly monetize their passion. The Phoenix app will directly connect bands and fans with no need for middlemen. We're utilizing the blockchain to give the power back to the artists once and for all. Join Phoenix, join the change.